hello everybody and welcome back to part two of upcycling my lampshade i want to thank everybody that has watched part one and if you haven't watched it i'll add the link down below so you can go ahead and watch uh, the first part and to see where where we are uh, you'll see in the first part of this video that i will be uh, painting the duck egg blue this was filmed um on the same day as i filmed the first video i didn't want to make the first video too long so i'm going to add it in so I'm adding this gorgeous duck egg blue colour to the lampshade um, and hopefully I shouldn't need to add any more colours. I think what I might do is leave it um, a couple of hours, see what, what I think to it and see where I can add blue has been added and it's obviously a couple of days later so when I've previously filmed it I am going to add the finer details with this um, grey colour so we can just sort of see it with the light this was I believe this was a take on the Farron Ball Ina Cry Blue colour behind me is based on the Ina Cry Blue uh, whereas this is a little bit more grey so to add the finer details, I haven't got a small paintbrush, so my plan is to use the end of a cocktail stick just to get the finer details. And I'll show you what I'm going to do in a second. So I'm going to dip the colour in the paint pot, and then you can see, you can see the colour ever so slightly. I'm just going to go, do it on one and then I'll show to the camera what I'm going to do. Like as you can see here, I've added some dots to make it look like the inside of a flower, which I think looks really nice. And I'm going to do this the whole way around. different patterns to each leaf and flower as you can see and I've done different dots inside the flowers just to give it something a little bit different to each one and a little bit of character to each one. My next step which I don't know if it's going to be a bit risky but I'm just going to use a finger and I'm going to dip it in the paint and I'm just going to draw some a few stems of some of these.
now I've gone round adding the different stems onto different flowers. I'm going to go around and fill polka dots in different gaps on the canvas just to give it a little bit of texture. I am going to use some of the pink again. And this one comes with a brush, so I'm going to add little dots with the brush. little dots to it I'm gonna go around again and I'm gonna use some of the teal rather than the gray that I was just showing you a second let's see if I can open it some of these are a little bit awkward now this one doesn't have a paintbrush so just give it a shake so I'm gonna just use my finger again and just add different dots just to give it a little bit more texture other than just pink dots. seen me adding the different dots around the lampshade and I'm really really happy with it as you can see some bits are thicker in areas which is what I wanted to go for but I wanted it to be a bit colourful and bright this is I'll just show you this is what I were wanting to go for something similar and I, I think obviously the colours are different but I think it looks looks great and I'm really happy with it. Thank you for watching today's video. I really love the lampshade now. It looks a lot better and it goes with the theme of my living room and I'm really happy. Check in for next week. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to film. I think I'm going to be doing a TV unit upcycle um, or I might do a clean with me. Please drop a comment below to see what you would like to see next. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.